So some of you may remember a while back, we did a video where we went on Amazon and bought some weird mobile gaming products to try out. Some of them were not too bad. Some of them were just downright weird. Well, anyway, I wanted to do more videos like that, but we had kind of exhausted all the options that we have on Amazon. But what we haven't tried is a website called AliExpress, which basically is the Chinese version of Amazon. And they've got a lot more weird off-brand products that I'm hoping is going to include some mobile gaming products as well. So we're going to be trying that out today. Drop a like if you want to see more videos like this, we're going to hop into it. This video actually ended up getting pushed back and falling on my birthday. So since it's my birthday, this is the one day a year that I can ask you guys as a present to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hop in the video. All right, guys, this is the AliExpress website, Human Hair Wigs. Well, that's an interesting comment search. Let's see, mobile gaming products. All right, well, right off the bat, we definitely have some interesting options here. Is this an actual mouse and keyboard that hooks up to your phone? Oh, it's Bluetooth. Oh, wait, would this be cheating? Th does this actually work? Oh my gosh, I have to buy this right now. Add to cart. What else do we have? We've got a Bluetooth joystick for cell phone. Does this actually work like just like a normal controller? There's no way this is only $9 and actually functions properly. How does this work? Hold up. You can do Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wireless, and wired USB? How would you even do USB? Like a USB? USB to USB-C? All right, you know what? We'll add it to the cart. Listen, I'd put the thumb sleeves on our list of weird mobile gaming products, but I already have thumb sleeves, as you guys can see right here. So uh, you guys might think that they're weird, but to me, this is just the way that I game. Let's see. We've already tried like a fan before. We've already tried triggers. Oh, is this the ROG? Wait, you can get a ROG? What? Wait, what is this? No, this is not a ROG. This is a... This is a freaking Ryzen CPU. Wait, what? How is this a mobile gaming product? I am so confused. It says gaming headset. This is a headset? Are those like really weird looking earbuds? Wait, this is a digital display. What is happening? Oh, those are earbuds. What the heck? They're only $7? There's no way they actually look like this. I'm gonna buy this just to see if it looks like what it says it looks like, cause what the heck? <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, this is the most bootleg looking fan I've ever seen. Just a little tiny USB. They didn't even try to make this thing look good. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. So this says 17 inch gaming laptop cooler fan but i feel like this could work really well for an ipad as well yo is this does this have adjustable heights as well or does it only have one height three fan modes three fan speed adjustments dang it i was really hoping oh it looks like it has a slightly adjustable height Connect USB power to fan. No, oh, I might start gaming on this. This might be worthwhile. I don't even know that this is a mobile gaming product, but the advertisement looks so cool that I have to. Cool cold vacuum portable laptop cooler. USB cooler external extracting cooling fan. Does it suck the air from inside of your laptop? How? How would that even work? Okay, you're telling me that I can get wireless earbuds with a waterproof charging box for $5? Once again, I just have to buy it because I don't believe that it's actually like it's got to be it's got to be too good to be true They've got another one for four dollars. What is this? Oh, I wonder what the cheapest phone that they have is lol <laughs> It's not the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's the i14 Pro Max <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's meant to look exactly like an iPhone Oh my gosh, the S22 Ultra Global version. Wait, are these knockoff? I all right. We might have to do a separate a separate video for the i14 Pro Max and the S22 Ultra Global version. <laughs> There's no way this thing actually has a 48 megapixel camera. I gotta, I gotta add this to my cart. Eight gigs of RAM? Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of excited for this. Okay, subscribe for the testing iPhone and Samsung knockoffs video. So apparently all the products I ordered were in completely separate locations and arriving at completely different times. So I have no idea which is which, but we've got a couple of them that have arrived already. So we're gonna go ahead and start popping these suckers open. Based on the size of this one, I'm assuming this is the iPad cooling device. Yes, it is. All right, let's open the sucker up. How much did this cost? Not very much. None of it costs very much. Now that I think about it. I'm mainly curious as to the uh, reliability of this thing, but I don't know. It feels, feels decently solid. Okay, no, it doesn't feel solid. It feels like straight up plastic, but you know, what can you really expect? Uh, is that there is a cord? Love that. In case you didn't see before, the name of it is Cool Cold. Sounds redundant, but it's not, trust me. All right, go ahead and get our iPad out of the way. Get this sucker underneath, fits perfectly. It looks like there's some sort of temperature control. That doesn't seem right. 
Oh, this is magnetic. Not sure how to feel about that 100%. We're plugged in. Power button? Hello. Is there a different power button that I'm not aware of? Does it have to be straight into a power outlet? I am confused. Oh, you gotta hold down the power button. Okay. All right, you can feel the air coming off of it. Can we crank it up or only down? It doesn't feel much different. Okay, I can hear the difference. You know, this feels like a decent cooling solution. What was it, like 15 bucks or something? Obviously, there's not a lot I can show you guys with this one, so we'll probably go ahead and move on. Yeah! This one looks like one of the controller type things. Love that. I was excited for this one. This is, I'm assuming, the phone holder. This probably stretches out. Nice. All right, we got the controller. You know, it is uh, it is a quality. It is most definitely a quality. We also have a charging cable. I'm assuming the device needs to be charged. And I don't anticipate that any of these instructions are going to be in English. Oh, they are. Nice. This thing is straight up plastic, but it looks good, you know? I wonder if that actually... Oh, it's it's charged. Oh, never mind. Okay, so the question is, how does this attach? Oh, look at that! Come on, don't break the device. Not looking too shabby? All right, we gotta, we gotta look at the instructions. This is actually... This looks really cool. I don't know if it's gonna work properly, but it looks amazing. We'll hop on over here so you guys can see everything that I'm doing as well. So it says... Hold down A plus home button simultaneously for two seconds to start pairing. Available device is T3. Is that this? Oh, T3. Yeah, that's it. Pair. Okay, that was insanely easy. Is there any way this actually works? Okay, so I was expecting for this to, uh... <laughs> Ba basically, you have to map all the buttons individually with a separate app. So you can see, like, in the hand cam that I'm trying to move around. I'm hitting every button, and it's not doing anything except for the shoot button. And, uh, apparently my movement joystick is the shoot button. So I'm gonna have to download a weird app real quick. Well, Shooting Plus V3 has a million downloads. It only has 2.6 stars, but we'll see how it works. Allow? Hopefully this won't screw me over big time. Hey, there we go. All right, so I'm assuming I just need to click Call of Duty Mobile. Oh my gosh, you can see it all on the screen. Okay, it still looks like it's shooting and it's not turning. No, it's, it's moving with the one. I don't think any of the buttons are doing what they're supposed to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Move that. Right trigger to shoot, make A jump, B slide. I don't even know what traditional controls are. Save. Okay. I It's still not doing what it's supposed to do. None of these are mapping. I'm trying to figure out if there's like, do I need to hit connect? I don't think that's what I need to do. Like, I think it all functions separately. Well, this is still not what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna mess around with this and come back to it later. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, we finally got the rest of our products. This one, I think, is the headphones. Maybe both sets of headphones came with it, or... I don't know, this is the, the case for it. It actually looks... Oh, okay. So, it looks good, but it's straight plastic, but... I mean, wait, did it already lose battery? In the time that I opened this, did that go from 98 to 97 battery? Ooh. Oh, oh, lord. Oh, that's some battery life right there. All right, gotta make the most of it while we can. How comfy are they? Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. What do I have to do? It's already down to 95. <laughs> let me see, let me see if I can connect with my Damascus phone case. Is there like an instruction manual for how I connect it? Is it all in Chinese? X15? Is that it? It's connected. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming music plays. I am not anticipating the quality to be high. We only have audio in one headphone. That's unfortunate. Is there is there another headphone that I have to connect it to? Are they not synced? They, this is the only one that has any audio. <laughs> it it also just nonstop lights up. I don't know. I don't know. Just in case you guys were wondering whether or not I was telling the truth, it's already down to eighty three. I don't know if that's the battery for this or for the actual headphones. But there's definitely no other option. So, uh, well, if it's gonna die, it's gonna be dead by the end of the video. This is. I guess I got two pairs of it? Oh yeah, so this is like a, this is the other pair of headphones. I guess I got two pairs. I, I recorded the first part of it so long ago, I legitimately cannot remember. Here we go. 
This one feels a little bit sturdier. All right, these seem a little bit nicer. These seem a little bit nicer. Let me pop these out real quick. I'm not anticipating they're gonna like auto stop. Oh, they did auto stop. What the freak? Oh no, they didn't. Maybe I pressed something on them that made them auto stop. Okay, these are shaped so weird. What the heck? You got little lights on the outside. Oh, oh. I feel kind of like at risk putting these in my ears. Are, am I going, no, this is the left ear. Will this stay, wait. It might stay in my ear. <laughs> nope. Um, all right, well that might stay in my ear. Okay, we got audio in both headphones on this one. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse. It doesn't show the battery anymore, so maybe now that they're plugged in. I, I will say it doesn't go like as far into my ear because their shape's so weird. So I can't really hear the audio as well. So you know what, we'll listen to music for the rest of the video. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I, I recorded the first portion of this so long ago that I just don't even remember. That's pretty sizable. Oh, I bet this is the keyboard thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this has like a lot of different things. So this is the mouse, mouse pad. I think this is like a Bluetooth receiver that you put your phone on. Wow, this is a, this is a big freaking mouse. And honestly, it doesn't look terrible, you know? Couple extra buttons, you got a DPI button. This is way better than I expected, if I'm keeping it real. I could I could see myself using, this has like three extra buttons on top of the DPI button. And a scroll wheel, all right. This is going to be our mini keyboard, oh my gosh. Oh, and it looks like it's got auto bound key functions and everything as well. Like if you look at the buttons, it's got the, like a sign for what each of the functions is, which is pretty crazy. All right, this is gonna take me a while to set up. All right, mouse and keyboard converter. And it literally has a picture of the COD Mobile logo on there. So obviously it was to a certain extent designed to do this. It looks like, oh no, I think it can U USB-C straight into the device. I don't know if I should trust this. All right, I think a light just came on. So then we take the keyboard. Ta-da. Ooh, oh, it's RGB. What? That's kind of crazy. This has a little RGB on it. This is like way nicer than I expected. Yo, kind of like, kind of W. All right, instructions. Connect the USB-C ca power cable to the device. The LED will be flashing. That means Bluetooth is not connected. Scan the QR code in the back of the converter. And download the app for key map customizing. This website is not working. The website, wait. Oh, I it, I have a website. It's uh not English. Oh my gosh, this is insanely sketchy. <laughs> it's a good thing this is not my main device. I do not trust this one bit. <sighs> this may be us saying goodbye to our red magic. We'll, ha we'll have to see. We're gonna hit download anyway. Gun one down. Is this like sensitivities? What the frick does this mean? Please connect device. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know what I'm connecting to. I don't know what the name of this is. <laughs> is it, maybe it is the M1 Pro pair. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's what I'm using. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Select the game on the right side. Yeah, Call of Duty, duh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We went into gaming mode. Oh, it just straight launched it, wait. Is this gonna work? Whenever you're playing with a controller or a keyboard in COD Mobile, it'll have like a little icon next to your username that indicates that, but I'm not seeing that right now. All right, the moment of truth. It's saying swipe again when I'm moving the mouse, so it's definitely registering something. I'm just not sure how accurate it's gonna be. It's not moving. Wait. Wait. No, the buttons aren't mapped properly. No, nothing is mapped right again. Oh my gosh. Uh, edit key? Okay, WASD. That's good. Oh my gosh, there's so many buttons. Where's my normal shoe button? Oh, it's way over here, Bobby. Okay. All right, if I hit save, success. All right. It's still not. Break, man. I hit show key. I'm right clicking, and it's not clicking. I'm so sad. Whoa! Wait. So I can see the mouse, but it doesn't do anything. Like, I, I can't even click on stuff. Bro, I was so excited. I just don't. I don't understand how it's confusing the W button for the, the mouse click, you know? Maybe maybe if I use one of the presets. COD Mobile? System preset? It's too close. Oh my, wait. Okay. Well, running's working now. I still can't turn. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. 
Can I jump? No? I, I can only move WASD? Nice. Let's go, baby. Do, do any of the other buttons... I mean, I'm using the COD Mobile preset. Do any of the other buttons do anything? Anything? Um, I'm, 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 I'm pressing all of the buttons. And all I can do is move. Can I get Fs in the chat and 10,000 likes on this video? I'm not gonna lie. My expectations for this were much higher. I'm so sad. Well, obviously the controller and the mouse and keyboard didn't quite go exactly the way that I planned, but we're gonna try to keep messing around with it in the future and see if maybe we can make a separate video out of it. I did buy the two knockoff phones that we're gonna attempt to play COD Mobile on, and also I bought a watch that's supposed to be able to run COD Mobile. So let me know out of those two options which you wanna see a video on next, and we'll see you guys in the next one.